Hello, everyone, and welcome to the session on mainframe and mid-range migration to Azure here at Ignite. We're going to show you that it is indeed possible for applications to both migrate to and integrate seamlessly with Azure, thanks to collaboration between Insono and Microsoft. I'm Brian Klingbeil, Chief Strategy Officer at Insono, and as part of that role, I try to spend as much time as I can with clients to gain some empathy on what they're facing, and this topic is one that has come up continually over the years. So I'm pleased to be talking about how we've teamed up with Microsoft to address this need. And Sono is adept at assisting established complex companies who are in need of transformation modernization. I'm not going to give you the infomercial on Insono, but this is us in a nutshell. So you can see we're about an $800 million company, but with only 230 clients, which means we're adept at dealing with large complex companies. We are an Azure expert MSP who also happens to have extensive skills and capabilities around legacy technologies as well, and an attitude and flexible contracts that can help you modernize them. And that's a very rare combination in the space. Today, we're going to talk specifically about mainframe and mid-range as a subset of legacy, but the concepts we talk about here today are applicable to many other types of legacy or on-prem technologies. So we'll start here, and Sono is a leader in the mainframe to cloud category. We have about 615,000 MIPS under management, the number two market share in the US, but we're very unique on top of being very large, we also have the capabilities and the will to allow customers to uh, flex out of legacy and into more modern technologies over time. We call this Incentive Flex as a contracting innovation that allows customers to move applications and and when they're ready uh, so that they're not uh, anchored in the past. We also have the capabilities to help them replatform those things, whether it's a re-architecture of the application itself, an emulation of the application, or retirement of the application, uh, or simply an outsourcing of the mainframe and integration with public cloud so that the mainframe can continue to be very good at what it's good at, which commonly is systems of record, and integrate and leverage Azure for what it's not as good at, which is systems of engagement, things where your clients are engaging with your company, but still counting on the mainframe to do some of the backplane work. So we start with, as usual, an insights and assessment on communication paths between devices, try to establish a quick win, find one of those easy to pick off applications that can migrate with or integrate with public cloud, and then modernize over time, but put the client in a position where they can move at their own pace and aren't burdened by technology or contractual vehicles that aren't uh, fit for purpose to allow them to evolve at their own pace. I'll show you what I mean by that with some visualizations. So what we commonly see on the left is client data centers or, uh, or maybe with an outsourced service provider in a data center that contains both the mainframe, which is commonly systems of record, and virtual machines, data applications that have grown over time and are tightly coupled with that mainframe that are more commonly systems of engagement. Those systems of engagement typically require a lot more agility, uh, faster moving, faster change, more DevOps capability, uh, and are, uh, are, are therefore kept on open systems or private clouds run out of clients' data centers. And they'd be even more agile and be able to uh, um, enjoy the benefits of cloud economics, cloud technologies, microservices, data analytics, data platforms, if they were moved into Azure, but they're a little bit held hostage in the client's data centers for a variety of reasons, one of which is chiefly uh, latency. So as applications start to move out to the cloud, you might have a particularly chatty application that needs to speak back and forth hundreds of times to complete a transaction. There's the cost, there's ingress, egress charges, there are uh, maybe extranet that's required, an MPLS circuit, new switches, new firewalls, et cetera, which then increases the complexity and increases the risk. And the typical applications that run on a mainframe are typically the, the kind of crown jewels of a company that run your business and therefore cannot be put at risk uh, downtime is not an option, um, so that introducing more complexity and risk uh, is, is not typically in scope for most clients. So how can we make this easier for you? And uh, a good first step is what we call a connected data center, a hyper-fast connection between Insono data centers and the Azure cloud for very low latency. And then by moving the mainframe out of the client-owned uh, data center and into a connected data center, it frees up those additional servers, applications, et cetera, to move as a first step. Uh, and then you're able to get the big 
cost, which typically is a self-run data center, and what we've seen out there with the cost of chips going up, supply chains getting out of control, and more recently, obviously, the energy crisis that's here and looming, uh, the cost of DIY and self-run data centers is becoming more and more expensive every day. Cost of chips get more and more every day, and uh, cost of some labor gets more and more every day. So getting that, uh, that big first step done is critical to a lot of the customers we see. Then you have a uh, an optimized technical environment with super fast connectivity that doesn't slow you down. Uh, cost can be subsidized by Sono and by Azure, and of course, no extra net is required. Uh, these advantageous economic models with things like ESA funding from Azure can certainly help out. Um, complexity is much more lessened because the the uh, networking complexity is uh, diminished, and um, we're able to provide between Insono and Microsoft sort of on-demand transformation skills uh, to allow you to take the next steps. So now all the options are available. There's no uh, one-time shot where you need to do everything all at once. Um, so the applications that are on the mainframe that require either refactoring or emulation or build from scratch, all those options are still available, but at much lower risk, much lower cost and much lower complexity. So what happens then now that you're in this connected data center and uh, integrated seamlessly with Azure, then you take a look at the application stack on that mainframe and it commonly contains things like this. The core systems of record that I've referred to, but then things that are more systems of engagement like client interfaces, custom applications, web applications. Then you can take a look at sort of a matrix of how important is that application to run in my business and how fit for purpose is the mainframe for running that application and make your assessment application by application. So those applications maybe that are in the bottom right of that quadrant, they're very important applications to my company, but the mainframe isn't 100% fit for purpose for running them, we'll wanna migrate those off. And Insono has a, a business unit called Insono Digital that can do that uh, through intellectual property we have and partners we have, uh, because there are many different scenarios, many different from and to languages, uh, the, the, the sort of a myriad of combinations, all of which can be addressed by Insono's technology for uh, refactoring that application, Cobalt to Java, Cobalt to C Sharp, getting those applications to the cloud. Or uh, if our IP isn't fit, we have a, a very rich, um, uh, and as does uh, Microsoft, a very rich um, ecosystem of partners to find the right technology to fit that solution. Then other applications, um, could be new and born in the cloud, uh, built, and again, and Sona Digital has the capability to um, build cloud native applications from whole cloth and from scratch, and some customers do that uh, instead of refactor an application and then just point your, your end customers toward that new born in the cloud application, and then the custom app that was built on the mainframe some time ago can just be allowed to kind of die of natural causes. And then these are connected through hyperfast connectivity that allows these things to continue to communicate with the core systems of record. And then more and more of that happens over time until such time you're comfortable that maybe the core systems of record can go as well, or maybe they remain for the duration because the mainframe is very good at certain workloads uh, and maybe you determine that those workloads should stay and they can stay and be uh, sustained and it sono has managed services around all of these um, all of these uh, uh, execution venues so a brief word on that before I close out, the Insono Cloud Transform Network allows all of that to happen. This is the cloud element, the, the mainframe element Insono uh, has been doing for many, many, many years. Uh, migrating mainframes out of data centers and into data centers as shown here is a core competency. Then we look at the applications that need to move with it or either that were coupled to it in the client run data center or need to move off the mainframe uh, to the cloud and uh, sort of a traditional model here until you get to the far right. Cloud Activate, where we envision, assess, design, deploy, and then get a quick win, a quick pilot uh, of the application to, to show the art of the possible, and then start to do that migration at scale. You never lift and shift. You always, at a bare minimum, lift and optimize, and then potentially re-platform re and refactor some of those applications through uh, external digital technologies. And then the run and operate. Uh, is a perpetual uh, circle of life where we're constantly looking at uh, each of the applications and innovating and developing DevOps practices with the customer because after all, that's why you wanted to get those applications to cloud uh, to create more agility and faster change and deliver value to your clients. And this includes, of course, things like cost optimization, security optimization, performance optimization. Uh, and this is just a brief little screenshot of uh, the, the new managed services that Insono provides that are around 
public cloud, it's no longer things like, oh, I want to do a firewall rule change once you're in cloud native and more DevOps practices. The, the, new, the new style of managed services focuses a lot more around policy, configuration drift, performance optimization, and critically cost optimization. Uh, so Insono has a practice uh, as part of our managed services where we're flagging uh, potential policy, security configuration changes, cost drift, um, uh, change management, et cetera, uh, within the new context of, of managed public cloud. So that's it. Uh, thank you for listening today on this uh, session on uh, migration of mainframe and mid-range uh, applications to Azure here at Ignite. Uh, if you want to see more, please go to www.insono.com or microsoft.insono.com. Thanks for listening.